Madam Deputy President, the Northern Rivers, as you well know, is a proud farming agricultural community. That is why the New South Wales Government is providing primary producers with targeted assistance and support as they navigate post-flood rebuild and all the challenges which comes with this, including pest disease and weed control issues. Last Thursday, Ministers Cook, Saunders and in the other place announced that primary producers in flood affected regions of New South Wales, including the Northern Rivers, will be able to access a range of technical support and recovery advice through the $13 million Early Needs Recovery Program. This forms part of the New South Wales and Commonwealth Government's $150 million primary industry support package. The Early Needs Recovery Program will, will actually help to sustain a massive 24,000 jobs across the state's flood affected areas. As we know, it's not just the Northern Rivers flooding, uh, as it's always also affected the Hunter Valley, Central Coast, and Greater Sydney, and also parts of the South East. And it recognise the invaluable community and volunteer organisations across the Northern, Northern Rivers. This $13 million program will also support the important work of volunteer-based organisations like Blaze Aid and Backtrack to help with the practical things like replacing fences. They played such a critical role in post the Black Summer recovery, and I know they'll play an equally critical role in the Northern Rivers area. Madam Deputy President, it is impossible not to, to recognise your experience through this, your passion through this, and I'll also say the same thing for the Honourable Sir Higginson. Both of you have been through a lot in this, and it's great to have that experience in this place. I know both your hearts bled, as did mine, as we heard the stories um, of part of the inquiry on the Northern Rivers. There has been acknowledgement from the Premier down that things could have been done better. As Minister Franklin said, the people of Northern Rivers thought they were ready for this as well. They prepared for a 12 metre flood, they moved their stuff up high, but they too were taken off guard by this. I know Minister Cook is working tirelessly on making the situation better for these people, and we should not expect any less that her working on this every single day. Um, as we talk of numbers, we need to remember the personal costs here. The, the, the loss of, of the family photo album, the sentimental keepsakes, um, maybe the first school report card. I know what it's like to lose these things, and I'm sure we can all think of things that we would hate to lose. That's why we need to keep working for this community. I would like to close by, um, just to say, by attributing blame, pointing fingers and chasing headlines does nothing to help the people of the Northern Rivers. What we need to do is learn from what went wrong, what we can do better, so we can be better prepared next time, and also do whatever we possibly can to help the people of the Northern Rivers get back in their houses and back on their feet as soon as possible, and I wish them all as much as I possibly can as far as regards in getting this done. I thank the member. And uh, I also acknowledge your participation in the committee and the time you've spent up there um, with the chair. Thank you.